Chapter 1. Different Types of Data Structures In computer science, there are several types of data structures that are used to store and organize data. In this video, we'll be discussing the most common types of data structures and exploring their properties and use cases. Definition and Overview Data structures are an essential aspect of computer science and software engineering. They are ways of organizing and storing data in a computer so that it can be efficiently used and manipulated. In other words, a data structure is a collection of data values, the relationships among them, and the functions or operations that can be applied to the data. b. Importance and Applications Data structures play a critical role in many areas of computer science, including algorithms, databases, and computer networks. They are used in various applications, such as web search engines, social networks, e-commerce platforms, and more. In each of these applications, data structures help to manage and manipulate large amounts of data in an efficient and organized manner. The importance of data structures lies in their ability to allow efficient access, modification, and manipulation of data. By choosing the right data structure for a particular problem, you can make your algorithms faster, more efficient, and easier to maintain. C. Types of Data Structures There are several types of data structures, including arrays, linked lists, stacks, queues, trees, and graphs. Each data structure has its own strengths and weaknesses and is best suited for specific types of problems. Arrays An array is a simple, linear data structure that stores a collection of elements in a single, contiguous block of memory. In an array, elements are stored in a contiguous block of memory and are accessed using an index. Here's an example of how you might declare an array in a programming language like Python. Arrays are best suited for problems that require fast access to individual elements, but are not as efficient when it comes to inserting or deleting elements. Linked Lists A linked list is a linear data structure that stores a collection of elements, but unlike arrays, each element in a linked list contains a reference to the next element in the list. Linked lists are more flexible than arrays, but may be slower when it comes to accessing individual elements. Here's an example of how you might declare a linked list in a programming language like Python. Stacks A stack is a linear data structure that stores a collection of elements in a specific order. Stacks operate on a last-in, first-out, LIFO, basis, meaning that the last element added to the stack is the first element to be removed. Here's an example of how you might implement a stack in a programming language like Python. Queues a queue is a linear data structure that stores a collection of elements in a specific order. Queues operate on a first-in, first-out, FIFO, basis, meaning that the first element added to the queue is the first element to be removed. Here's an example of how you might implement a queue in a programming language like Python. Trees A tree is a hierarchical data structure that is used to represent a structure with parent-child relationships. Trees are used to implement algorithms such as search algorithms, sorting algorithms, and more. Here's an example of how you might implement a binary tree in a programming language like Python. Graphs A graph is a non-linear data structure that is used to represent a collection of vertices and edges. 
Graphs are used to represent real-world relationships, such as roads, airlines, or social networks. Here's an example of how you might implement a graph in a programming language like Python. Conclusion In this video, we've explored the different types of data structures and how they are used to store and organize data. Whether you're working with arrays, linked lists, stacks, queues, trees, or graphs, it's important to understand the properties and use cases of each data structure in order to make the best decision for your particular problem.